today uh, we want to fix the problem with the needle seat we have uh, on the Thermo Vanquish LC system. Um, we actually have a leaking needle seat here. So we have a leak over here. You can see it clearly if you put some paper onto it. Um, furthermore, you can also see it by checking the pressure um, on the system. You can see now we have roughly 400 bars. Um, and if we switch to bypass mode, we can see that the pressure is rising, which is indicating a leak in the um, needle seat. So we're going to, going to change the needle seat. For this, I'm going to stop the flow and wait until the pressure is dropped. So if the pressure drops to roughly zero or one bar, we can uh, yeah, start unscrewing everything. So to unscrew the needle seat, we have to first go to the service position uh, by pressing this button here. And afterwards we have to mount the secure um, screw over here so that the needle is fixed. So it's easier with a screwdriver. Um, if this is fixed, the needle should stay in this position and do not fall off. Uh, we can see the needle seat here with the drops that we have seen before. Um, to repair this, we just have to unscrew the needle seat. So this is the old needle seat and we have to reinstall the new needle seat at the same position. So it has to be mounted quite tight and afterwards we can unscrew this lock again and take the system out of the service mode. So if we put the pressure back, uh, the flow back on here, we should see a stable pressure profile in injection and in bypass mode. So we have roughly 450 bars. And we have roughly the same value in bypass mode. So this should indicate a successful um, yeah, repair of the outer sample of the HPLC system.